Hello, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. It's good to be back with you guys. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a productive weekend, a fun weekend, and I did some dumb stuff too. So I had an epic day on the White River with my buddy Richie Black in Double X Boats. Shout out to Jason Copeland, who is the owner of Double X and uh, a friend of everybody around. So Jason, thanks. Uh, always a pleasure to ride in one of your beautiful river boats. It's a jet boat. The thing is fast as lightning and um, it can get in some real, real skinny water. So props and shout out to Jason. But I got all the way up. There's a three hour drive from where I live and I would drive six or seven hours to fish the White River. It's just that good kids. It is just that good. Awesome trout fishing. You run up on Crooked Creek and the water is up right now. So there's a lot of fish. I saw my first paddlefish, which everybody down here in Arkansas calls, calls the um, shovelbill catfish. And it was a monster. It was like three feet long. It was awesome. So I had a lot of sightings. There was a lot of clear water. And I got all the way up there and I did not have an SD card on me. I had all my GoPros. I had, I was ready to film underwater. I was going to have a great, still had a great day fishing. Took lots of pictures, took some release videos, lots of fun, but ah, oh, don't have a video to show you guys. So pulled some dumb stunts and it's just lack of sleep because everything else I was doing to get a day off was part of what you guys are going to see here. So let's get into what we have here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I'm gonna throw some, some pics in at the back end of this so you can see some of the stuff that we caught and released on the White River and up in Crooked Creek. And uh, yeah, so next time I promise you, I will have all the GoPros. I do it like a couple times a year uh, whenever we can. So these are going up to CJ. He's got, uh, and I'm, constantly evolving these and he had ordered three regulars i've upgraded him to the foiled and this is a full foil you guys have probably finished viewing the um tips and tricks that i filmed last week for you guys on random foil the the leaf loose foil or loose leaf foil foil flake but these are on just regular pre-foil and then we've got the little mini. These minis are cool too. These baits run remarkably well. Good weight, they throw well, they cast far, they trace and run pretty well in the water, and I like using them. Peacock cichlid. Man, I have fun. This is, peacocks are probably, I always say that, peacock bass. Let's get it right, Jen. Peacock bass are probably some of my favorite fish and favorite patterns to do. Just so amazing and so beautiful. So one of the one of the things that I would like to do if I ever lived in Florida would be bass fish for peacocks every single day. It's a little bandit BD two hundred. The red craw. Got that red craw going on. On the 2.5, black eyes. Also on 1.5s, that bright fluorescent orange on the belly. Just a little stencil action on the uh, segments. And then did in this dinger pressing, one of the springs. And there's a bunch more springs to show, but I'm going to break this up into two segments because it's a lot of stuff. And these things already have a tendency to go long, so I figured not today. It's a little gill through. This could either mimic a brown trout juvenile pattern or a juvenile pike pattern. Love that fluorescent yellow on the belly. Transparent, pretty see-through. Lots of pearl in this. And Jets and Lure Eyes, size six. Got one more that's in that um, winter green. And also been working on freehanding the um, gill plate segments to shade. 
So having fun with that. Just something different. And then last but certainly not least, got home from the Spring River and absolutely had to copy one of the fish that I caught up there. Was a beautiful green sunfish, full summer breeding colors, super cold water. So had to bring it to life as best I could and reproduce the pattern. This is what I came up with. Thank you Buffalo Man, AKA Dirk Frack for purchasing it. It was gone in like 30 minutes. So thanks guys. I love doing these intricate patterns. I love detailing the dorsal fins, nice little ear flap. And yes, they are the yellowish color. I've been seeing a lot of that this year. Maybe it's because I never paid attention to them before, but I certainly am now. Um, just getting real heavy into reproducing. I'm loving these green sunfish. So that is all the news is fit to print today. Got a spray session coming up tomorrow, and I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers, and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.